Greetings, greetings, viewers. Today we're gonna talk about the combination of shoulder and arm pain. Right. Now, there's, uh, this can be fixed relatively easy many times. However, there's one common mistake that people make, including therapists and doctors, that will take you I can't forever. wait. Yeah. I can't wait yeah, to hear it. It's not hard to, uh, to determine what the mistake is. We'll show you in just a minute, and then, uh, you know. You'll we'll be on your way. Yep, we'll see what happens. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, Bob, if you've got that shoulder pain, maybe a little neck pain, and it radiates down the arm, there's two likely causes. Number one, you got a shoulder problem. Right. Number two, did I say two? <laughs> uh, you got a neck problem right. that's referring down the arm, uh, shoulder into the arm. And I've had patients come in with a diagnosis of shoulder pain. And so I. Treat their neck. The problem goes away right. very quickly. So we're going to get into that and show you how you can do this at home, a little quick screening tool. Very good. Okay, then. Okay, here is a great test to help determine if it's in the neck and not the shoulder. Have a seat and a chair with an armrest. Take a pillow. If the right side is involved, put a nice cushy pillow there. Allow that arm to relax and rest. Get as comfortable as you can with good posture. And what we're going to do is assess range of motion with the neck and see how the pain changes. Gets better, worse, or if no If it change. does, right. Yep. Exactly. So here I am. Uh, first thing you do is just do a chin tuck. You don't have to push in. You can just tuck that chin in. That's, Neck retraction. Yep. Okay. You can rotate to the right, rotate to the left. And as you're doing this, you're monitoring that shoulder and arm pain and see what happens. Better, worse, or no change. So I'm doing this and I'm doing this. No problem. Uh, let's just, I'm just kind of making this up. A lot of times I see this in the clinic. And then to do this, and ah. oh, right there, oh, it kind of hurts over here, or down the arm. If that happens, the pain is exacerbated by neck movement, you're almost guaranteed. You don't have a shoulder problem. You have a neck problem. You've got a neck problem. And you can work on the shoulder all day and it won't get better. Exactly right. It's possible you, you have both, but usually not. You could also do fl sh um, neck flexion. Yep. Let's say this is fine and, you know, make sure you go this direction. So chin tuck, rotation. But Brad is right. It's usually going back. Yeah. That's mostly Ma what, what we see. I say 90%. Yep. Yeah. And our experience of yeah. 470 yeah, Humble years. appearance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if it is from your neck and you're having problems, one of the most common things that we found had good success with, again, firm, upright chair, butt back, good posture, and you can start with chin tucks and see how it responds. We're looking for the pain to centralize. In other words, come up the arm to the shoulder and then eventually hurt back in the neck. If that happens, you know you're doing the right exercise. Now, I've had the chin tuck sometimes work, sometimes not. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'll go to a towel roll. First, I'll see if they can do this. And if they go, oh, that hurts, it's getting tender. Take a towel roll, low on the neck, support. There's two ways you can do this. And oftentimes, the support of the towel roll will allow more range of motion and typically, the yeah, farther right you away. go back, it feels better. yeah. And sometimes the first couple of times it's irritated, but, but then as you do more, oh, it's starting to loosen up. Boy, I can go back farther. And if that's what you're experiencing, and both Bob and I have had this with patients, you're doing the right thing. You can go up like this. Now, if this arm is sore, you take one hand and pull, so you get a little traction and work with that. You don't want to do this forever. If you do it five or 10 times, that's all you need. Even if you're having success, you should give a little break and then come back to it later. Okay, now, if you do the range of motion with your neck, and it seems like that's not doing anything, right. you know the problems in the shoulder, we'll get to that next. Now, we do have videos on how to treat the neck in detail. Oh, right. yes, that's right. right. Do we have programs? Yeah, we have a program. Oh, go yeah, to bobandbrad.com. We have a program section, a library of videos specifically for neck treatment so you don't have to search all over. And they have PDF printouts. Right, notes, absolutely. And they're absolutely free. Right. bobandbrad.com. 
I've heard of those guys. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, the neck has been cleared. We know we got a shoulder problem. Now, depending on the level of pain you're experiencing, if it's very uncomfortable and you can't even get it up this far and it's just painful, you need to give it some rest. Now, a pillow, again, can be a wonderful thing to let that shoulder calm down. Place it again on an armrest and so you get some elevation. And we've been finding out some good things from right. a, a therapist. From, we've from just, Rick Alderman. Yep, and he is just a guru of a therapist. Uh, and so that supports. And while you're in this position, you get it comfortable, you know, that's a good time to put a cold pack on it. You know, if you respond well to ibuprofen or NSAIDs, you can do that uh, per your liking. Uh, and let it calm down. Let it down. calm down, yep. right. The next exercise, and you can kind of do this one. It's a very common exercise. It's been around for 300,000 years. Yeah. And the Codman's or the pendulum exercise. This is my sore shoulder. Don't let it stiffen up. A way to get it moving is let gravity do the work. Bend over, body weight in this left arm. And I'm just going to let... Should be pain free. Yep. Just let that arm dangle like an elephant's trunk that's relaxed. You can do some circles with it. If you can do this and it's completely pain free, then it's time to go on to the next exercise, which I would probably go... Maybe start some strengthening. Right. Particularly if you can, even with the other hand. If it's pain-free. Lift it up here without pain or maybe go like this without very much pain. A little sore, but not bad. Start to strengthen the rotator cuff. We really like, you know, using TheraBands. You can use weights. Uh, and the primary exercise is go-to exercises external rotation like this. Keep the elbow in. Yep, right there. Don't let this happen. Don't let this happen. If you hold your finger on that elbow, it should stay stationary. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the next one that we like to do is scapular retraction. Now, there's a whole series of exercises to get your shoulder rehab. We're not going to show you all of them on this video because right. it would take about 42 minutes. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is refer you to our website, bobandbrad.com, right. go, go to program section again and go to shoulder, and there's going to be a whole series of exercise or of videos specific for shoulder rehab. Along with a PDF. Yep, on each one. Out on each video. And you simply look through the titles, pick out the one that pertains to you and your goals, and look at it 15 minutes. You do have to look at us again. All right. But, the, you know, you do the printout, and then they don't have to look at it again. Just read it off and see Set it on your counter. and Want to put it in the printout. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a good deal. It is absolutely free. We right. don't even ask Zero an bucks. email. There you go. So good luck with that shoulder or neck problem. Get it taken care of and get back into life full speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs>